don't know if you noticed, I've been so intrigued with your story that uh, there we have about we have about four minutes left in the show, and we have not even taken a commercial break because I was like, nope, not taking one today. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'd like to do for the last four minutes is, can you share some tips with people who are listening on? overcoming that fear because I love how you've said this whole time every step you've taken literally from your journey to America to your transactions that you're doing to the success you're uh, and you know having today there was fear every step of the way but it didn't paralyze you like it paralyzes so many people what can you share some tips on how to just overcome the fear to at least take a step forward, take some action. I think for me it's one, you you have to work with yourself. Once you work within, mm -hmm. within you, yep. then everything else is going to come. You have to take leap of faith with yourself, knowing that you are capable of doing that. Got it. You got to surround yourself with people who are doing more. Because they're higher than you, they're going to pull you up rather than like the people bringing you down. Right. Because there's, if, if I ever got into a problem where I had no idea, and I had been in those situations, yep. I always go up to my mentor, like Matt Atkinson, he knows so much, he's so intelligent. So I go and ask him, hey, what do you think I should do? And they always have answers to my problem. So surround yourself with people that make you feel like that, like safety net. Yes. Because we need to, you know, to do that. And honestly, uh, obviously, I don't want. I was more a little prepared, more or maybe a little bit more advanced than most, but not really because I started cleaning toilets. I yeah. had to like this. I'm talking about 20 year journey. Right. And this is not that just happened overnight. Sure. And so I, I want to say that if you want to do something like that, just get yourself prepared as much as you can. There are no guarantees, but you know what? Be resilient. Yeah. If somebody doesn't show up for you today. You know, know how to talk to people, know how to tell, know, ask, know how to ask for help. Maybe at the end, when you're like in a really problem, if you start calling your friends, there's somebody that's going to come help you, you know? Yes. Because at the end of the day, when you're in that situation, somebody's got to come in and help you, bail you out, pretty right. much. Right. And if you can, don't get greedy. Because I've had instances where people are already about to lose their home, but they don't want to sell it for less because they want to make their money. There's always opportunity to make money every day for everyone right so don't get caught up into one project think bigger okay take it as a learning lesson you know i'd yeah. rather lose this money or just break even yeah but the next one i'm gonna be better and the next one and the next one and have right. this one plan you know yeah stick to it i'm only taking this and that and so i think at the end of the day it's for me mm -hmm. it's just Believe in yourself, work with yourself, that everything else is going to come. Got it. Got it. Very cool. You know, I love how you talked about uh, having mentors. I'm the same way. Uh, Matt's been a mentor. Randall Wall's been a mentor of mine. You know, it's a safety net. It truly is a safety net. Um, can you share with people how long you've been in real estate? I, because I want people to know how... a 20-year journey, but your real estate journey, I want people to know how quickly you did this in. I think I'm on my... Fifth year with my real estate license. Amazing, amazing. I mean, that's incredible. So when you said twenty years, I, I assume I mean, like from business, exactly, business wise, yeah. exactly. And I wanted the listeners to understand oh, that I'm this a newbie. Is, I'm a newbie yes. in real estate. I'm just a beginner. But yeah. but with a, with a lot of experience in that short amount of time oh, yeah. with the I'm and, a and doer. Having success. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I gotta go too. Yes. Okay, Elizabeth. How can people get in touch with you if you know they they, they need to buy a house? They need to sell a house. Uh, maybe somebody out there who's listening prefers somebody who speaks Spanish, which obviously you do. How can someone get in touch with you? Um, they can just find me on Facebook for Dead Investments LLC uh, or on social media, Instagram. Uh, they can also contact me via phone, 801-548-0066, or email me. You'll find my information very public. If they just Google my name, Elizabeth Cordero in Utah, okay. you'll find lots of my information. You'll find me. Yes, yes. <laughs> and Elizabeth's been on TV and radio, so she's going to be all over Google. So, <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you coming and sharing this amazing, inspiring story. Thank you for the opportunity. I really appreciate it. Yes. All right, guys. Well, you've been listening to Utah Home Sweet Home. This is K-Talk Radio, and I hope everybody has a spectacular Memorial Day weekend.